Hi, I'm going to talk to you about uh, an interesting concept today, which is called as application portfolio management. So what exactly is application portfolio management or APM as it's called? Uh, so there are various tools that are actually built around APM. So I have been to companies wherein they've got 1400 to 1800 IT applications that are required to run their IT arsenal or the IT landscape. So application portfolio management is the list of portfolio is like list. Uh, so application portfolio means the list of all the applications that you have under your kitty or that you need to manage retire, store, refurbish, refactor, re-engineer, discard, end of life cycle, and pretty much all of those kind of details, you know. So application portfolio management is one word for all of these things. So it could be you're trying to sunset some of the applications, you're trying to, you know, uh, refactor certain applications, you're going to remodel certain applications, you're going to re-engineer certain applications, you're going to phase out some applications you're going to you know uh, uh, really uh, change the way certain applications work so the entire life cycle management from start to end of an application that you have pretty much uh, is what is called as application portfolio management in large uh, uh, com uh, enterprises this is a huge uh, task for an architect because he has to he is responsible for n number of applications that are under his kitty and he needs to understand how to manage them how to go about their life cycles and uh, ensure that you know there is more bang for the buck in terms of whether they are well maintained are we spending too much on them uh, is the maintenance uh, due uh, so are all the uh, applications compliant so any small change in any one of the applications can trigger a compliance issue or a regulatory issue for instance so you need to it's a huge topic all by itself application portfolio management and um, it is uh, uh, of course now there are no such big monolithic applications but there are a lot of microservice applications but still applications so uh, you could say that you could call application microservice application portfolio management or something like that but that doesn't take away the fact that there needs to be a job that is to be done which is about uh, taking care of all the applications that are under uh, an architecture and uh, under a product or solution and uh, being responsible for the end-to-end -end life cycle of those applications so there are various tools that will help you uh, to manage uh, these things uh, which will create a repository of all the applications that you have and what is the interface and interaction of these applications uh, you can catalog them you can create at artifacts catalogs and matrices out of these things so if you are to look at uh, how to manage uh, this entire portfolio of things you can look up uh, the list of artifacts uh, catalogs and matrices that you could create for the application uh, stack per se which will help you to reduce the architecture complexity because architecture complexity is all about the traceability and the transparency that you need to understand how things are being modeled end to end it for it is a good reference framework for doing something like that you can use TOGAF uh, to do parts of the application portfolio management and a combination of all these things will help you get a grip on how you can manage applications end to end. So this is uh, a skill that is quite useful for an architect uh, when he is uh, looking at managing applications and uh, the IT stack as such on a day to day basis. So thank you very much and stay tuned uh, for more such updates. Do like, share and subscribe this video for more such tips and tricks. Thank you very much.